Welcome, and thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Rob Foster. And I'm Connie Hathaway. Tonight, we continue with our investigation into the shocking story from Harper County, Maryland, as we look at the apparent terrorist attack that has struck panic and fear into the heart of all America. Ten days ago, terrorists struck at Harford Mall using deadly poison gas, killing 10, seriously injuring 24, and requiring hospitalization for dozens more. Rob? That's right, Connie. Even more disturbing, no one has claimed responsibility for this terrible attack, and police still have no one in custody. It was a day like any other in quiet suburban Maryland, with temperatures in the 90s. It was a typical hot July day. Many shoppers took refuge from the heat and humidity, escaping to the air-conditioned comfort of Harvard Mall, until disaster struck. This footage came from the mall security camera system and shows what police now believe to be the deadly device being planted by an unknown perpetrator. Watch again as we digitally enhance this image and run it in slow motion. Soon, a busboy clearing tables moved the dripping package from the floor to the top of the trash receptacle. Authorities now believe this device released a poison gas into the mall, which has killed 10 and sickened dozens more innocent shoppers. Officials have identified the gas released as sarin, the same deadly chemical used in the Tokyo subway attack in 1995. As we see here, the first victim was 48-year-old Robert Morton. Several nearby patrons rushed to his aid, while many others looked on, resulting in a small crowd gathered near the trash receptacle and the leaking package. In addition to those victims who died inside the mall, two others died later. One while receiving medical care outside the mall, and another in the ambulance on the way to the hospital. Connie, there was a camera crew at the mall recording a commercial nearby. And we have been able to obtain the dramatic footage you're about to see from on the scene. We must warn you, this is actual footage from the mall and may be disturbing, especially for our younger viewers. From Harford Mall, this is... What up, Steve? Steve, come over here. Look at this. Something going on here. Excuse me, excuse me. This is Mike with nothing much news. What exactly is going on here? Okay. Oh, Steve, get out of here, man. The mall security camera shows that the camera crew soon fell victim to the terrorist's deadly attack. An alert security officer was monitoring the scene back at the security office and had put in a call to 911 shortly after observing Mr. Morton's collapse. This dramatic audio recording is taken from the call the security officer placed to Harford County 911. Harford County 911. Yes, this is Vince Dupringer. I'm a security guard here at Harford Mall. Yes, sir. We may have a medical emergency here. Okay, and the address there? Uh, Harford Mall in Bel Air. Okay. And the problem there, sir? Uh, elder, elderly gentleman has collapsed, uh, holding his chest. Uh, looks like a heart attack to me. Okay. Is he conscious right now? Uh, it's hard to tell. I'm looking through the security cameras and there's a lot of people around him. Okay. Can uh, you tell if he's alert and able to talk? I can't tell. Is he a sweaty or changing? The 911 operator responded by dispatching an ambulance and emergency medical crew to the mall for what she thought was just a medical emergency. We now know that what was actually happening was far more sinister. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> 